Welcome to Lane Troll University. My name is Conrad Lane. I'm going to share another strategy, another perspective, and mental mind shift with you. Oftentimes, and this is going to happen to you, when you have a Toro vehicle on the Toro platform, it's rented by many people. Some people are great drivers, some people are terrible drivers, some people are mediocre drivers. You get a lot variety of different people and driving styles, so oftentimes your car will basically start looking a little beat down or might have some dents on it, some curb rash, etc. Um, but it's not necessarily the most serious uh, or or the most significant um, damage that can actually hinder your business. Oftentimes, people are perfectly okay with still renting your car. But one thing I highly recommend, in my personal opinion, from renting quite a bit on the Turo platform is to consider that go to your local affiliate dealership, meaning if you have a Honda, go take it to a Honda Sorry, Honda dealer. If you have a Nissan, take it to a Nissan dealer. If you have a Mercedes, take it to a Mercedes dealer. And the reason you want to do this, you want to take it to an affiliate dealership because they oftentimes know the condition to the best degree in comparison to a regular body shop or mechanic. Still take it to a body shop and mechanic and ask them this following question. Hey, my car has some curb rash on it, for example. Or hey, my car has a dent on it. Or hey, there's a crack uh, in my window. Or hey, whatever the case is, whatever type of damage has been done to your vehicle, Ask your body shop or ask your affiliate dealership, hey, do I need to, is this significant? Is this serious? Is this a safety um, hazard? And the reason you want to ask this because oftentimes you'll find out, hey, curb rash, it looks unsightly. It's not very attractive, but it's not a safety hazard. But for example, maybe one of your tires has a bump on it. You probably want to get that changed and they'll probably say, hey, yeah, this could probably explode at any time. Whatever the case is, the point is run it by your mechanics. Oftentimes you don't want to overspend or spend on unnecessary um, damages that might keep on happening. If you start noticing, you might start noticing your cars always have curb rash on it. Now, again, there are some cars and some, say if you have a deluxe car, at that point, that's just part of the cost. A lot of times, if the more beautiful the car is, uh, especially if it's like a deluxe vehicle or some type of really cool, like uh, rare vehicle or a really expensive vehicle, oftentimes these cars usually People kind of have a frown when they see a curb rash on the tire with good reason. So if you say you have a Ferrari on the platform and you have curb rash, uh, you probably want to get that taken care of. But for example, say you have a Honda or maybe a Nissan and this isn't being facetious. This isn't being underhanded. I'm just stating the obvious and what I, from my personal opinion and perspectives, oftentimes a lot of cars, you could probably go without actually repairing it or getting it done because oftentimes this is money out of your pocket you have to pay. Oftentimes, maybe say you have curb rash and it's under the threshold for the deductible. So that means it doesn't even make sense to use your Turo plan because at this point, you'll pay more out of pocket um, than what the damage actually is. Say like curb rash or say maybe a, a crack in the window. And you might want to ask, hey, body shop, does this crack in the window, is this a safety hazard? And they say, no, it's not a safety hazard. Get something in writing. And then at that point, they can actually simply just allow you to um, give you authorization to get a tour so that that way you can actually go ahead and basically um, keep the vehicle as is and from a stated professional highly recommend that um, do your best to save as much money as possible and do your best to do what you got to do but that's what I highly recommend is do your best to actually offset your all your costs offset your uh, any damage you might have because you want to get to the point where you're not in a situation where your vehicles going to be a safety hazard uh, if it's a safety hazard that is a big deal but you should go to a mechanic or affiliated body shop so that way they are they can notify if it's a safety hazard or not like maybe a small crack in the window they'll say it's perfectly fine it's just a crack in the window so that may, might save you 300 or 500 or a thousand dollars for a new windshield for example a new window very important to do this know how much something costs but also figure out if it's a safety hazard if it's not a safety hazard then get something in writing, say it's not a safety hazard, so that way um, you could give it a tour, and also that way you save money from having to spend. Oftentimes, you're trying to make money here, and it's just part of the game. The car's not going to look the same. No matter how well you take care of a car, it's not going to have that new car scent anymore. It's not going to have that zest. It's not going to have that new polished look off the lot anymore. It's not going to have that. The older your car gets, just by natural wear and tear, and just from people utilizing and using it, a lot of people might run into something, they might hit something, might go through a few claims. It's just the nature of the business. So understand sometimes it might not be necessary to spend money on small safety, uh, sorry, small damages that are not safety concerns. Now, if it is a safety concern, get it done right away. Anyways, that's uh, welcome to Lane Tour University. 
like, subscribe, share. Follow me on Instagram, Conrad Lane. I love you guys. Like, subscribe, share, and subscribe to the channel. Peace.